look at this leg this is on the first position a minor pentatonic scale you put your first finger on fifth fret first string that is the a note give a slight vibrato then you put your fourth finger on the flat seven note that is eighth fret second string then fifth fret second string so it's a swing feel going on one two and three and four and Then you play the note on the third string, seventh fret. So so far. Then, then what you'll do is you take fifth fret on the third string and hammer on to the sixth fret. That is from the flat three to the three the third to the major third. Flat third to the major third. This is one of the most important notes in blues playing. You hammer on to this sixth fret. So so far. Or maybe you can pick also if you wish. I'm picking. Then I'm playing the seventh fret and the fifth fret on the third, fourth string. Double stop. Double stop means you play two notes at the same time. So you bar your first finger across the fifth fret and you play the third and the second string. You can use your second and third finger also. Hybrid picking. You plug them like this and then hammer on. So the lick. shape of A minor pentatonic scale. Refer to the diagram in my website. So here I am playing these two notes together, these two strings and sliding to the fifth fret. And after sliding I am playing it a few times. times rather refer to my right hand for the picking after doing this then you play the fourth uh, with the help of your fourth finger the eighth fret on the second string and then fifth it's a basic pentatonic scale notes. Then seventh fret on the third string, and then as we did in the previous lick, the use of major third. I'm going to hammer on from the fifth fret to the sixth fret on the third string, and end the lick on the root note, that is the A note, seventh fret, fourth string. So 
So here what we are doing is we are sliding from the third fret with a bar across the second and the first string. So I am doing a number of alternate picks here. After sliding, I am playing the first string, then second string, then again first string, second string, again first string, then second string. So. then first string give a vibrato look carefully it's a wrist work ok then you take the 8th fret on the first string and then back to the 5th fret You can also use your third finger for this. So what we are doing in this lick is we are connecting the second shape, uh, the fifth shape of A minor pentatonic and the first shape. It's from third fret, fifth string. I'm playing this kind of a movement, the third fret and fifth fret alternately, in a swing feel. Three five, three five, three five, three. The fret numbers on the fifth string. Then now I'm playing a double stop on the fourth and the third string. You bar your finger across the fifth fret and you can use your second finger for this your pick and the second finger and you after picking these two notes you, you hammer on to the third string sixth fret and end the lick on the root note that is A on the seventh fret fourth string so these leaks are almost same. We are utilizing the same idea. You make sure you learn these leaks and also experiment with the other notes so that you use this technique in order to form your own leaks. second shape, the second shape of A minor pentatonic with the first shape. So this is a double stop and make sure you get your fingers ready, third finger, seventh fret, third string, second finger, sixth fret, second string. So you pick these two notes together like a hybrid kind of thing with the thumb and with the pick and the middle finger. Then you slide these two notes up a whole step and repeat this twice and make sure it doesn't stop in between so you slide twice then you play the 7th fret 3rd string then play the 5th fret, 3rd string, so and you have a vibrato like this then you play the 7th fret, 4th string and 7th fret, 3rd string, so so far you can use this movement, you can bend your 3rd finger in order to grab the 7th fret, 3rd string and same idea so this lesson is about using the major third and by now 
you are familiar with this, I won't have to explain this to you, you already know what to do. But still, from 5th fret to 6th fret hammer on, 3rd string back to the groove. See you next time if these videos are helping you in any way feel free to share subscribe and comment thank you very much and this lesson was brought to you by music circle and timesguitar.com